saying, if you wanna get a job done right, get a woman. It's something we all laugh about, but really, you know there's some truth to that saying. Now imagine uniting women to get a job done. Well, that's the idea behind Women United of the Lower Eastern Shore. Kathy Thomas is with Women United and is the leadership and planned giving officer with United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you afternoon. for having me. All right, we, we have these beautiful purses in front of us and we're gonna talk about how these purses are worked into a fundraiser you have coming up. Correct. We're gonna talk about that in just a few moments, but first, uh, tell me about Women United of the Lower Eastern yeah. Shore. I could talk for hours. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, Women United is an affinity group of United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore, and we actually launched last September. And the main purpose of our Women United is to support women and children in the four counties that United Way serves. Um, we come together and we basically host hands-on volunteer opportunities for our donors and for volunteers. Okay, so we all know about the United Way and how that works. Mm -hmm. What sets Women United apart from the actual United Way? Well, it, it's an affinity group under United Way, like our student United Ways at uh, Salisbury University in Warwick um, and Pocomoke High School. But this is different than other organizations in Wicomico County, like the Women's Circle and the Women's Fund, Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore and Salisbury University in that what we are trying to do is give women an opportunity to have hands-on volunteer time in the, four, in the counties that we serve. And when you say affinity group, mm -hmm. what does that mean exactly? It means it is a group of, basically of donors, although we are welcoming a lot of volunteers who are not yet United Way donors. Um, and it is under the, umbrella of the United Way. It actually was started United Way Worldwide back in 2002, okay. but we didn't start ours until September of 17. All right, so are you always looking for more volunteers, more women to be part of it? Absolutely, there are ways that we do it. Um, if you can't volunteer or that's not your shtick, so to speak, um, we do have some social events and obviously our, our auction coming up next week. All right, yeah, let's so a lot get of right ways to, to be involved. That. We've got these beautiful purses here. <laughs> um, tell us about Power of the Purse. Power of the Purse just has taken on a life of its own. We um, will be hosting a, an event next Wednesday, March 14th, um, at the home of Tracy Ritter here in Salisbury. And we've actually gotten over 60 purses donated and they will all be up for auction, and the funds that are raised through that will go to support our Read to Succeed program and our Girls on the Run program. Um, it's really exciting because purses range anywhere from $25 to about $500 in value, and we will have mobile bidding available as well. Ooh. So if you can't make it, you can still bid on what you see. Yeah, so for example, if you would like this beautiful red coat purse, <laughs> uh, you can bid on that. Okay, that true. give us the that when and true. where again. It is March 14th. Um, the address is 1101 Harbor Point Drive, and it runs from six to eight-ish. Eight-ish. With great food, um, beverages, a lot of socializing and hopefully some bidding as well. Absolutely, and of course we'll have all of that information on our website. Kathy Thomas with Women United, thank you so much. And thank good you luck for having us. With thank the you. Event. Thank you.